stretch for our full body class. So we are gonna start with stretching. We've got three stretches, uh, and then we're gonna start working on our legs, glutes. So today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm using the band instead of my ankle weight. So if you have a band, then put that aside as well as some free weights, minor three pounds. Otherwise, you can use your ankle weight um, and then put those on. But let's just start off right off the bat with stretching. So I want you to take your legs, step them wide, nice and far apart, and you're gonna turn to your right leg. So here, my hips are open, and I'm gonna sort of give myself more balance by spreading the legs on a diagonal. And then from here, so we're going into a nice deep lunge. So I want you to lunge back, and then you can turn the knee toward the floor. Breathe, and we're just gonna bend the back knee and extend, bend, extend, good. And add the arms, 10, stretching the hip flexors, Yes, squeezing the glutes, reaching your spine nice and long up toward the sky. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and we're keeping this knee not over the toes, in line with that ankle. Come up, face me. We're going to the other side, so turn towards your left leg. So the back leg is turned out, and then you just step it out a little bit more, giving that diagonal so you have more balance. All right, now turn the knee toward the floor, the back knee toward the floor, and we're gonna take it down, bending the back leg, lift, squeezing that glute, and extending your hip flexor. Good. And add the arms, up, down. Bend the back knee, lift. And keep that spine lifted. Try to take any arch out of that low back. And six, five, four, breathe. Three, two, reach, one. Come up, face me. And again, we're gonna face to your right leg. From here, I want you to either grab some blocks or a chair to bring the floor up to you, or none of that. Depends on how flexible you are. So I want you to hinge at the hips, releasing that torso nice and straight. Those hands come reaching toward the ground. Good, just like that. And I want you to now bend the elbows, bend the arms, release your body toward your right leg. Good, lift it up. 10, up, 9, getting a stretch in that back hamstring, lift the toes off the floor, and 6, up, 5, up, good, release those elbows toward the floor, which will let your body come down, 2, and one, good work. From here, bending your front right knee, crawl those hands forward, and we're just gonna come for standing leg split. We're on that moss, giving yourself a stretch, stretching all throughout that back right leg, and pulling in through the navel. Stay lifted. I'm staying up on my fingertips, or you can be on the blocks here, or a chair. And six, five, four, good, three, no weight, no equipment right here, two, one, good. Now you're gonna take it, step it back, all the way, good. And now you're gonna bend your back, left knee, bend, extend. Just getting a nice warm up here, stretching out those legs before we start working them. Good, and reach that chest forward, and then relax it down. Lift, back down, up, good, four, and three. Bending 
your back left leg to release the torso down top of that right leg. Good. Two. Breathe. One. Awesome work. Come off your a little slight bend in that front knee to bring your torso all the way up nice and straight. Turn the toes facing me. And now you're turning toward your left leg. We're gonna take the hinging at the body, your hips here. So bring that body forward, forward, forward. Good, and release that heel back down. Breathe, release it down. Hands either on blocks, chair, wall, or couch, sofa, whatever you got. All right, or the floor. And now, but I just want you to keep that spine nice and long. Now we're gonna lower and lift the chest. Lower your torso, nice and elongated in that back. Breathe. Up, down, and five. I like to keep my elbows facing the floor so that they come all the way straight, back down. I don't flare them out like this. Keeping them in line with my shoulders. Squeeze, lift that back kneecap up. Two, and one, hold, breathe. Ah, that feels good, that feels so nice in that back of my left leg. Good, now from here, bend the front knee, crawl your hands forward, and then stay where you land, where it's comfortable and balanced. And we're just extending that top leg and stretching your bottom left leg. Good. Up. 10, 9, keeping both legs totally straight. So if that means and that requires your body to come up higher, then please put your hands on blocks or a chair. Three, two, one. Ah, bring it back down, step back, and we're gonna come in the bending of the back knee. So bend, release that chest, and then up. Good. Lift, control, 10, lift up, take it down, up. Warming up, keep those hip points facing the front as much as possible, good. Lift those toes off the floor, in front, good, good, good. Three, two, one. Awesome work. Now, I want you to bend that front knee just a little bit. Place your hands either at your hips, and then you're gonna extend your chest all the way back to standing, good. Face me. And now we're gonna come hinging forward, just straight forward here. And I want you to lean your chest toward your right leg. Just take a few pulses here. In, out, in, bringing that chest in toward your right thigh. And lift, good. And we're gonna go from here, center to left. Now stretch into your left leg and extend that chest. And then take it down. Lift it away. And then bring your belly tummy toward your thigh. And then bring it up. Extend it and then take it back down. Good, hold. And from your left, center, right. And again, we're going right, Center, left, keep going, down, and center, right, center, left, center, right. Good, last one here, and stay center, good. Give a small bend in your knees, and then roll the chest up, roll, 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 roll. Roll those shoulders back, good. Let's just take a couple shoulder rolls back. Nice and easy, good. Lift the, the elbows up, 
lift and circle them back. Good. And a little bit bigger. And a little bit bigger. I like to keep a bend in my arms. Melt them behind as you squeeze those shoulder blades. And then in front and back. Yes. All right. We're going to get those bands on and grab your free weights. Grab a sip of water and meet me back in the center. Mm -hmm. Okay, got my free weights. We're gonna start on my right side here. Get into a squat and we're gonna walk, crab walk to the side, good. And we're going for eight squats, seven, six. Bring those arms nice and in front of you, five, four, three, your body is hinged slightly with a nice straight spine, flat back, and walk to the other side, four, and now straight, take those arms in front of you, release the body forward with a straight flat back, seven, squeeze those glutes and inner thighs at the top, six, good, five, even press those hips slightly forward to squeeze. Good. Four. Three. Two. Yes. One. Good. Coming back into your squat. Walk. Crab walk sideways. Yes. And squat. Eight. Seven. Pull the navel up. Six, press the booty down. Hips come as far, far down as you can. Booty in line with those knees when you bend. Yes. Two, one, up. Four steps to your right. Body straight, extend it down, up. Straight flat back, pull that back. And then squeeze at the top. Good. Squeeze. And six. Five. Four. Three. And two. You got this. One. Good. Bend squat. Step to your left. Yes. Up. And then we're squatting. Bend, extend those arms nice and straight. Last one on each side here for the squats. And your deadlifts. Good. Arms come straight in line with those shoulders when you bend. Down, up, squeeze, all the way up, squeeze, lift. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Up, 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 up. 
Yes. And squeezing the backs of your legs, squeezing those glutes, lifting the kneecaps. Good. Five. Four. Good. Three. Two. And reach, reach down, down, down. One. Awesome work. From here, right leg. You're going to either use a chair or a wall if you need help with balance. So get that right now. And then come back and meet me. And what we're going to do is you're just going to lift your leg in front. Toes tap in front of you. About a foot in front of you. Good. Lift up. Lift. Yes. And you can add the arms if you're not using the chair for balance. If not, then your hands are on the back of the chair or the side of the wall. Good. Six, five, four, three, two. Really working the strength of that hip flexor. One, take it down. Good. Returning to the side. Hands come in front and lift. Good. Up, bending those arms and that knee. Lift the knee. Try to keep the band down just on top of your knee. Good. Lift, lift, toes come to your knee, up, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, 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 release the hand and the foot. Now take it to the back, good, here we go. I want you to lift that back leg. Just get the leg first. Good, pulling the navel up. Taking out the arch in your low back. Squeezing the top of your back leg. Right leg, good. And 10, nine, eight, good. Seven, straight behind you. Six, squeeze, five, Four, turn the back leg out from your hip. Three, two, and last one. Hold, 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 hold. One last pulse, lower with control. Other side, we're taking that side body hinge to your left. Here we go. Release the shoulder, release that arm. Let gravity do its job here, using the weights to give you the stretch on your opposite right side. Breathe into it, breathe into that rib cage. Expand it and take it back to control and then lift up, good. Nice little warm up for our reps. Here we go, lower and extend out of the spine. Take it over to your left, lift. Hips facing forward. Both legs anchored into the floor, those feet Nice and centered. Good. Six. Oh, I love these so much. Five. Melt into it. And then engage your side, left obliques to, right obliques to lift. And engage, pull it up. Nice. Five. Four, three, two, one. Melt it down, 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 down. I like to pulse a little bit here. And press up. Good work. Now you're taking your left foot. So step it in front, just about a foot in front of you. And I want you to lift and lower. Lift and lower, that's it. Arms up to the side. Good, nice straight supported leg. Both, so your supported leg is nice and straight and then there's a bend in your working, moving leg. Good, 10, nine, can you see me? Eight, seven, six, five, Four, really working the back of that leg. Your right leg is fully straight. Two, and one. 
take it down with control. Coming to the side here, turn it out. Toes come to the knee, down, knee. All right, place those hands in front of you. Elbows in front, elbows in, squeeze them in. Here we go. Up, yes. 10, nine, eight, squeezing the backs of those legs, inner thighs, good. Seven, six, five, four, you got this, three, two, yes, one, awesome work. Taking that left leg back, so you're shifting your body weight in front slightly, there you go, find your balance, and lift that back leg up, and lower, toe tap, arms reach in front, good, breathe, up, yes, up, down, eight, ooh, my calf is getting tired, so I can feel my balance going, so good, six, five, four, squeeze it up at the top, three, squeeze, two, and one, hold, 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 take it back down. Okay, just run it up, give your calf a little love, give it a little stretch there. I sure need it. Oh, it feels so good, it makes me feel so alive. Awesome, awesome work. All right, here we go. We're gonna take our body hinging to your left and squat and leg lifts up, totally parallel, facing the front. Hup, good. And hinge over to your left, squat, side leg lifts, down and hinge. And side body, side leg lift. Good. Breathe. Squat. Lift that leg to the side. And hinge it to your left side. Straight forward, squat. And we're gonna take 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Good, good. Leaning over to your left with your body, so your body's on a diagonal. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, other side. Hinging over to your right. Good. And you're taking that squat and extending your left leg up, totally parallel. Facing me, good. Reach that body and that arm to your right. Squat and lift. Good. Reach, stretch, stretch, stretch. And squat. Hop. You can pick up the pace if you feel like it. Up to you. Take that leg, pick it up. Get the body balanced so you're shifting your body weight. There's a lot of body weight shifting here. It's going back and then here it's going to your right side. And then here you're stretching over to your right and back. Lift those, bring those hips all the way back. Good. And lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Good. Four, three, two, one. Hold, 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 and take it down with control. Okay, we're coming down to the ground. Wonderful work. Grab your mats. I'm gonna bring it a little closer. Oh, there goes my weights. <laughs> Here you go. Grab some water. How's everyone feeling? I hope good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, am I in the center? 
here we go. I want you to come down now to your low, low lunge, all the way down, always protecting your knee, so you keep that in line with your ankle. And another way to do that is you can lift, pop the heel, you know, if you want a deeper stretch in your hips and get that elevation, lift the heel, pressing down toward the floor with your hips, good. But for now, just keep that knee in line with your ankle. Back leg bend, extend. Bend, getting a stretch in your back, left quad, flex it, flex, and bend. Hop. Obviously, if you keep your body on this inclination, you'll get a little bit of an easier stretch. If you bring your body totally straight up, you're gonna feel a deeper stretch. So it's up to you. Up. Lower, lift. Yes. Lower those toes to lift. Breathe here. Bring it down to lift and hold and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower the toes. And I'm gonna pick those hips up by pushing my weight away from the floor with my hands. Good, turn towards me. And we're coming into the side, surfers lunge. Lower the hips with control and lift. Stretching out those hips, opening them up, stretching up those inner leg muscles. Press up, breathe, and breathe into it. Lower down. One more time here. Press into the floor, lifting your weight up. Breathe. And lower into it. Good, good, good. You can even take the side body stretch here. So if I turn my, my gaze, my torso towards my left and pressing my right arm into that right knee, inner leg there. Just getting that, opening up that back, spine, low back, upper back. Feels really good. Okay. Now pick those hips off the floor, lift, crawl to the other side, bending your left knee, good. Now we're shifting our body weight again. We're transitioning to turn, so lift the hips up and turn toward your left leg. Bend that back knee, both knees bend. Get yourself into position for a nice low lunge stretch. Bend that back leg. Flex it, extend, flex. So at first I'm gonna leave my body inclined as I warm this quad up, stretch that quad and my back right hip flexor. Hop, bend it in, control down, in, control. Now as I feel that that quad and hip flexor is warm, it's gotten used to the stretch, Everything feels good. Now I'm gonna take my body weight and bring it more into the center. I'm lifting my hands either my waist or toward the floor. And I'm going to bend that back knee now. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Roll those shoulders back. Good. And squeeze at the top. Lower, breathe. Squeeze, think of pressing that heel towards your booty. Good, down, in, down, hook, and lower. Last two, and lower. In, hold, 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 breathe. Good, now lower that leg back down. Bring your hands on the inside of your left leg. Push those hips up. Yes, and then come facing me. And we're just gonna lower the hips. Really stretching these inner thighs. Good. And now press up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then slowly lower down when you're ready and breathe into it. Good. Long spine lifted, 
shoulders relaxed, down. Now press the hips up, knee putting your weight in your hands, and then bringing the hips back down. Breathe. Last one, lifting the hips up. So you're pressing and taking out the weight out of your hips and putting it into your hands and arms. Up, 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 good. And then back down. Hold it, breathe here. And then I'm gonna take that opening up and I'm turning my torso, my chest, shoulders toward my right side and pressing my left elbow into that inner knee part of my leg. And open, breathe, breathe, breathe. Lift up, lift up. Yes. Okay, great work there, everyone. Coming down onto our backs. I feel like I have to come closer. Here we go. Coming all the way down, and we're going into this froggy bridge pose. So I'm gonna keep my heels off the ground, opening up the knees slightly, and you're gonna lift the hips up. Roll the shoulders back, lift, good. And then close, open, just squeezing those knees together. Yes, while you're keeping the hips lifted up as far as you can off of the mat. Squeeze the knees together. Squeeze. Pull the navel in. Pull it down into your spine. Keep that upper back wide so the collarbone is wide. Shoulders are rotated out towards the floor. And in those knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Good, good. 5. Four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Squeeze, keep those knees lifted, keep those knees tight, pressing towards one another. And those hips lifted. One last breath. And then lower with control. Control, control, good. From here, take your butterfly and I want you to reach your hands the inside of your legs toward those heels. Good. Come on. You can even keep it round. Your arms can be round as if you're holding a big round beach ball. <laughs> and reach toward your heels. Good. In. In. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Really pressing that navel down into your spine. Good. Three, two, one. Hold, 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 hold. Reach, 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 reach. Like you're pulling a rope. Pull, 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 pull. Good. And then lower down. Bring the legs together. Shake it out one leg at a time. Good. Keep it going. Keep that belly engaged. So we're just biking the legs, bending one knee into the chest and the other leg, sending all that energy out. Out and in. Good. Yes. Ten. Nine. Really hike up the knee into your chest. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring both legs up to a 90 degree angle. And I want you to just turn the hips out. And we're going to take these fifth positions, lowering the legs and then coming back up. This will be hard here. Come back up, 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 up. Squeeze those inner thighs, and then lower back down. Good, breathe. Five, up, four, up, three, two, 
two, one, take it down, five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, breathe, and again, shoulder blades off the mat, five, four, three, two, squeeze, squeeze those inner thighs, one, lift, five, four, three, two, one, Woo! good work. Just gonna take a happy baby here. Bend those knees, reaching on the outer edge of your foot or your ankles, whatever feels good for you. And rock, rock into it if you like, or just be very, very still. Really, really up to you what you need in this moment. I'm gonna take my legs out to a wide straddle. <sighs> Breathe. Let everything relax. You're very warm right now, so if you wanted to go into a more flexible stretching position, this would be the time to do it. <sighs> Even when I pop up, you can keep the camera rolling and see your progress. Good. I'm gonna try and pulse those outer toes, my pinky toes, toward the floor here. 10, nine, just so, so light and gently. Eight, seven, six. Now, right, left, right, left, one side. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Ah, all right. My friends, Maisel Goldblum, stretch. We're done for today. I hope you all had a really great class and I hope to see you all very, very soon here online uh, or in person. So take care, see you soon, bye.